Hello everyone, this is Sridhar from Electric Spinning Institute. In this video, we are going to discuss about what is ETL and how to do ETL operation in Power BI. Then, what is this ETL? See, ETL stands for Extract, Transform and Load Operation. And we will discuss each term one by one. First of all, what is Extract? See, Extract in the sense, it is a process of fetching the data from different data sources. Uh, let us say data sources might be uh, files or databases like Oracle, MySQL, DB2 and files may be like Excel file, CSV or text file. Let me show you that. For example, in this Power BI, we can see this get data. So from here, we can fetch the data. See, there are a lot of sources are there. And if you want to categorize them, uh, let me go for more. It will take some time. Yes. Here you can see, you can fetch the data from files, the databases, Power Platform, Azure, online services, and then others like uh, website. Okay. So these are the different connectors. We call them as connectors. Okay. From here, you can fetch the data. Uh, now, for example, I want to fetch the data from an Excel file. So what I can do is just click on this and then connect. Let us say I want to fetch a data from this particular file. Then just click on open. So it started connecting. Yes. So for example, uh, I want to in uh, you know fetch the data from this account sheet and then employee and payment. Okay, so these are the different sheet names where my data is stored. And now here you can see load, transform data, and cancel. So if you load it directly, it will be loaded into Power BI Desktop. Now I want to do transformation. Okay, so ETL's next step is that is transform. We are done with extract. If I just you know click on load, then it will be extracted. And if you want to do transformation, then what you can do is just click on this transform data and this will redirect you to Power Query. So where you can do the transformation things. See that account, employee and payment table are extracted and now uh, we, we can do transformation. So transformation in the sense, so whenever you extract the data, so that data will be in raw format, that will be a raw data. Okay, so that is not usable in its original uh, way or original format. So for example, if you see here, uh, let us say account. Okay, so in account you can see, uh, there are some nulls okay so while doing the analysis in your data should not have any nulls and it should not have any errors right so in order to remove them okay so we have to go for transformation in order to remove this what we can do is remove rows and go to remove uh, blank rows okay so if there are blanks so that will be removed now you have null values so if you want to get rid of this then just click on this filter and then just uncheck it okay now so the nulls rows with nulls will be gone away next if you wanted to uh, remove some column for example for the sake of analysis i don't want this phone number so i can just right click and remove it okay and uh, let us say i'm there on payment so i want to get uh on one column from that account table to this table okay so we call it as merging so that also you can do and then for example if you want to change the data type of a specific column for example amount it is consisting of whole number kind of thing okay if you want to convert it into a decimal number then you can easily change it to decimal and then for example from employee table I don't want all the columns. I only want employee ID and his name and then 
his manager ID. Only I want this much. So in order to choose specific columns, what you can do is you can go for choose columns. See, uh, for example, I want employee ID, names. I don't want hire date as well as mail ID. I can directly do OK so that I can get only required columns. Okay, and then splitting of the columns and merging the columns and then uh, appending the data set if they are of same kind okay these kind of all transformation we can do in transformation process okay so once you are done with your transformation the final part is loading okay so loading in the sense applying all the transformation to the data and uh, you know making it ready for the use of reporting okay so reporting we do it in power bi desktop now we have to load this data transform data okay data in correct format so we want to load this one into power bi desktop in order to load it then what you should do is you should go to left top corner you can see close and apply okay so whatever the transformation we have done so that will be applied on the data set and this will be loaded to your power bi desktop see apply query changes now it is applying all the changes whatever whatever we have done then all the tables will be reflected here yes so here you can see if you want to view that data go to data and then for example i want to view this account can you see this so now the data will be in correct format and you can use it for the sake of reporting. This is what exactly BPL process in Power BI Desktop. I hope you understood it and thanks for watching. Have a great day.